Still questions tonight after a teenager in Montville dies after crashing a go-kart. The victim, the oldest of four brothers, Police are still trying to figure out what happened tonight. They are investigating that crash. News 8's Tina Detell spoke with his family. She has more tonight. These white marks indicate where this tragic accident happened. And what makes this even more difficult for this family is that it's at the foot of his grandparents' driveway. I love him. I'm going to miss him. I know my husband, when, he, when it finally hits my husband, he's going he's gonna to really lose it. This is a loss Christopher Smith's family is trying their best to deal with. The 16-year-old, known as CJ, died on Sunday after crashing his go-kart, which was similar to this one with a roll bar, at the end of his grandparents' driveway on Caroline Road in Montville. His cousin Sam, seen here with him in this picture, was also there, along with another cousin, when state police say CJ lost control of the go-kart and crashed. They ran over, tried to help him, but it was... It was just too much for him. Linda Smith says CJ, who was a sophomore at El Grasso Technical High School, a Boy Scout, and the oldest of four brothers, was studying to be an electrician. He tried to get over here every, you know, every weekend and stay the whole weekend with us and help his grandfather. Him and his grandfather, they, they just hung together like glue. His death remains under investigation by state police who are examining the go-kart and haven't released whether or not CJ was wearing a helmet and seatbelt or was riding on the road, which is dangerous and illegal. Here he is seen with his cousin Allie, born just six hours after him. They're going to have him cremated because, you know, we just can't afford to a big funeral and everything. This accident has impacted this family so much that right afterwards, his grandfather sold the ATV he had here Sunday night. He didn't want any more reminders, and he didn't want anyone else getting hurt. In Montville, Tina Detell, News 8.